Hello, my name is Chaitanya and today we are going to be doing an experiment on test for pH uh, uh, using natural indicators such as beetroot juice. For acid, I am using vinegar and for base, I am using baking soda plus water. So, first we shall start by cutting the uh, by cutting the beetroot into small thin pieces. Now the beetroots are cut into small fine cubes. Leave the, uh, leave the water to boil for about 20 minutes and then add all your beetroots. It is boiled and cooled. So now I am using a stainer to filter. Now here I have a syringe and here we have the beetroot based natural indicator which is ready. It is a very concentrated solution. Here I have an acid and here I have a base. So for the acid I have used vinegar and for the base I have used baking soda plus water. So now first I am going to put this much amount of beetroot solution into the acid. So let's see the color change. Now what we should do, we should stir it. So now it has turned deep red for my base. So here I have taken the same amount. So I will be adding this to my base. The color of the base is all is reddish brown. So here I have the base in decreasing order of dilution. This is the strongest and this is the weak, uh, this is strong, weaker and weakest. So now we shall see how we shall, uh, now we shall see the color changes. So now I shall be putting it to the strongest. So now, it, now to the weaker. Now to the weakest. So now here I have. Now look at the color changes with the base in decreasing order of dilution. Here it has turned red, uh, reddish brown, which is very dark. And here it's a little bit, uh, a little, it's a little bit slighter. And here we have, it is even more slighter. Uh, now we have acid in decreasing order of dilution. Here we have the strongest. Here we have a little bit, uh, a little bit weaker. And here we have the weakest. So now we shall see the color change. Now. We shall add the beetroot juice to the strongest. We are adding it to the weaker solution. Third, we are adding to the weakest solution. Now we shall stir it properly. So as we have here, we have remarkable colors in acids. The strongest acid is a deep red, then it lightens forward to a little lighter red and then goes forward or further to pink. Then we almost have the same colors but we can, if we observe carefully, we can see the color changes. This is reddish brown, a little lighter which is red and brown but in the lighter quantity and here we have the weakest which is uh, the weakest which is light